Well, you can make an argument these lighter divisions wouldn't even be in the UFC were it not for this man, the newly minted UFC Hall of Famer, the California kid, Uriah Faber. Outstanding, well-rounded mixed martial artist, known really for his chokes. This is the guy who racked up the submission wins and a guy who would knock you down and then submit you. We'll see what Faber chooses as attack mode tonight. Uriah Faber has the full package. Outstanding wrestling, ridiculous cardio, devastating ground and pound, and some of the best submissions in the lightweight classes. He is one of the most loved fighters in the sport today. So here is a pro dating to 2003. Here is the consummate veteran, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, arguably the greatest mixed martial arts athlete the state of Florida has ever produced. Longtime staple of the American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. He's got heart, the toughness to go with it, cardio, an outstanding jab, and a submission game to go with it. This is one of the more well-rounded welterweights in the world, and as such, he has vaulted into title contention. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, land hard strikes to get the victory. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 34 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, the California kid, Uriah And now the producer is upon fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gabriel You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. You ready to fight? Ready. We are underway. The California kid, Uriah Faber, ready to go here in round one. His last first round stoppage win against Ivan Menjivar. That was back at UFC 157 in 2013. So much championship experience, but he does get off to a good start more often than not. We'll see if Faber can continue that trend as the early moments of this one play out. Faber lands to the body. Faber gets the early takedown. Nice start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Big punch from the bottom. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's now working for full guard. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Moves to north-south. He lands a big shot from the bottom. 
controlling north-south again. Inside control here, working from the mounted crucifix. Excellent movement on the ground here, constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, elbow to the head. Connects with the punch there. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's moved back into side control once more. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, Nasty elbow. elbow lands to the head. Excellent movement here on the ground. 90 seconds remain in the round. He's looking to pass. He's in half guard here. Big shot from the bottom. Excellent posture. Moves to side control. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Looks like he might be able to get a choke now, Joe. The tight guillotine. That is a tight guillotine. It's getting tighter. This could be the is. end. Oh, my God. Round's about to end. Sunk in that submission and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And one last time, excellent technique on that choke for the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, the California Kid, Uriah Faber! All right, so we congratulate the UFC Hall of Famer, Uriah Faber. This was a clean, complete effort out of the former WEC champ tonight. And at the very least, a win like this serves to put him right back in the